Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Snake Doc here, and we are going to do a surplus pistol unboxing. <clears throat> and my furnace just turned on, so hopefully it didn't drown me out, but M70. So it is a Sestava M70, but not the M70A. Unfortunately, Zestava names almost every one of their guns an M70, and this is the sticky, sticky Cosmoline covered unissued maybe wow look at that uh, this is the 32 ACP or 7.65 millimeter version and good grief is it covered in Cosmoline <coughs> so um, this comes with a holster uh, with the spare mag holder and uh, yeah, and two mags, filthy, filthy Cosmoline. These are eight round magazines. And uh, yeah, this is super, super clean. I'm assuming this is unissued then. But the cool thing is there's a few places selling these right now. They seem to have gotten another supply to the country. I ordered this from R Guns. That's rguns.net. And he's got a special on these right now for Thanksgiving um, for $225 and $20 shipping. So $245 shipped. And these actually have, they're unissued, still in Cosmoly, and you get the holster and two mags and a chamber brush. And these have the rear sight. There's a few places right now that have these for under $200 shipped with one mag, no holster, no cleaning brush. And they got this gigantic plastic sight right here that is not even usable with the front sight. So you just you'd have to find a sight or make a sight or you know modify a Glock sight down or something like that. Um, whereas this is you know a complete gun. Plus our guns, their um, import mark is really really small, which is really nice um, to see. I can't believe how stick this is. Honestly, this is the stickiest pistol that I have ever gotten surplus wise. I've gotten quite a few and this one is, I mean like jam packed. So this is going to require a lot of cleaning. I'm going to set it down on this bubble wrap. <clears throat> uh, so I'll be using some of this. This is uh, basically low order, low order low odor mineral spirits and uh, let's see it contains only mineral spirits so I will be using that because if you use the the mineral spirits in and just do it in like a little pie pan or a baking tray um, and a toothbrush it melts the cosmoline away so it's really cool stuff to do um, it's kind of enjoyable uh, more enjoyable than holding a sticky gun. So anyways, on to the gun, what it is. It's um, kind of a scaled down Tokarev, if you will, which we all know the Tokarev model. Um, the M70A is the 9mm version. The M57 is the Yugoslav or Serbian 762x25. Um, this is 7.65 or 32 ACP, which I happen to have right here. Some uh, PMC bronze. This is 32 auto, 71 grain full metal jacket, and I'll show you. I got a nine millimeter right here. There's a nine millimeter compared to that 32. So you can see the the case length is about a millimeter longer, but there's definitely a uh, girth difference and the projectile is much bigger and heavier on the 9mm being I think this is a 115 yeah I think this is a 115 Remington um, so the other thing about 32 ammo but you can find it right now but it's 20 bucks a box so 50 rounds 20 bucks um, but it was in stock they had like 12 boxes of it 
and everything else was bare right now because you guys know about you know election and this and that so short on uh, ammo a lot of places um, try a 32 so that's kind of why I got one of these was just to try a different caliber um, plus 32 is great for beginners and it's great for women shooters that aren't used to handling recoil my wife has shot 32 before and really really enjoyed it so I think uh, this will be a cool little thing to have in the safe to pull out for her or my kids to use every once in a while. Um, so this is along the lines on the Tokarev, like I was saying, this is a single action only firearm. It does not have double, double action capability. So the hammer is back into full cock and then it has a manual safety right here. So this is a hammer block safety, so when that's back it can't fire, which honestly there's so much cosplaying in here, I don't even know if it'll fire when it's forward. But um, when that's swept forward, then you should be able to fire. Let's check it. Oh, I can't even open it. Oh my God. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video on this after I clean it, but holy smokes. So we have a clear chamber. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to go back in battery. Let's see if we can get the hammer to fall. Oh, there's no magazine in it. So it's got a magazine disconnect on it. Uh, so it has the same modular trigger pack as the uh, Tokarev, the big Tokarev models. It has a barrel bushing up front, just like the other Tokarev models. This is a blowback configuration. So the barrel doesn't tilt or anything like that but it's not affixed to the frame like you're used to on a Makarov or a P64 or a P83. So um, it is left side controls only, non-reversible. You have a magazine release right here, slide stop and takedown lever, and a safety as I showed already. Which Look at how much grease is in that groove that the safety glides in, it's hilarious. Uh, and this big glob on the hammer spur. Um, Tokarev grips come off the same as the big toke. Um, you just reach through on this side. There's a little tang that has a notch in it and you just stick a, a flathead screwdriver or a punch and slide that to the side and the grip panel will come off and then you can access the other grip panel which just has a tilting lever. David Tillander, um, if you guys watch my other videos, he makes multicolored grips, basically any color you can dream up. He does offer grips for this pistol. He sells them on Gun Broker, or you can go to tillandergungrips.com and check him out. They run about $28 a set. And then I do have a friend in Serbia, and I've been talking to him, and he said that there are some wood grips available over there. So he's working on getting me a set of those sent over. And uh, I think that will look really sharp on this. Um, the one thing I'm noticing is that the bluing on the slide is a slightly different color than the bluing on the frame. Um, I don't believe that's because of the grease. It reminds me a lot of like the Ruger P95. The Ruger P95 that I had that had a blued slide was almost a plum color. And this is reminding me of that plum color. The other thing I'm noticing is that there's some red paint on the top of this extractor. So I'm thinking that also functions as a loaded chamber indicator. Um, when there is a, a round in the chamber. So um, this is a, a pretty cool gun. It's about the size of a uh, Walther PP series. Um, so let's put it on the scale. This is full steel though. It's not an aluminum frame like some of the FEGs. Um, so I don't know how much the grease weighs, but Without a magazine in it, it's 24.5 ounces. So it's it's got some substantial heft to it, but again, that's gonna mitigate recoil and uh, make it a nice substantial feeling gun in your hand. Um, let's pull the calipers out real quick and show how slim it is, because it is really a super slim pistol, which would be great. This was meant as a police carry model. It's .82, so it's very narrow, uh, just over three quarters of an inch. And there's not really any wide points on it. I guess I can go, the grips are a little bit wider. 1.03, and then at the safety, it's point, 
it's on a narrow part of the frame right here so you're not it's 0 0.85 0 0.84 so let's check it here at the takedown lever 0.86 so it's really a nice slim gun um, with just basic uh, controls and features on it um, it says I don't know how to say it Curvena Zastava caliber 7.65 millimeter model 70 on this side of the slide let's bring that in and then this side just says made in Yugoslavia so this predates um, Serbia so this is definitely a uh, surplus relic and then our guns is right here and there's matches almost identical um, the print so I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video on this where I'll clean it I'll have it cleaned and then I'll do a takedown separate but um, let's see I'll pull the mags out quick again let's see if I can get them to come out of this bag Yeah, there's there listen to that they're like stuck Let's see if I can peel the bag off of them that's a chore man <laughs> we're getting there So, we can see on this side, it is marked 7.65 millimeter. There you go. And this side has witness holes. And uh, we got a metal follower, and it should have a last shot hold open on it. Um, your your uh, takedown is going to grab that, and when this follower rides up, it should hold your slide open. But yeah, I've got... Uh, a lot of cleaning to do now and uh, looking forward to it so let's take a closer look at that holster I don't want to put the gun in the holster because there's so much stuff on it right now but the holster is uh, just a regular style like you would see you know on this a uniformed officer wearing and uh, just has a standard loop listen to that look at it starting to split it's so old and you can see some wrinkling on there but yeah it's it's definitely uh old but it looks unissued um so i'll just you know keep that in the box so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this unboxing of a surplus sestava m70 in 32 acp or 7.65 millimeter and look forward to an updated video where I'm going to have this thing cleaned up and we can kind of go over some uh, of the features and stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. Rguns.net and uh, that's the place to buy from, believe me. Thanks guys.